A special agents, Mrs. G back again with some tricky additions to give you some top tips for the arithmetic SATs tasks that you may be asked to do in the future. Remember these are top secret, don't share them with everybody. Okay, so in the first video we learned about arithmetic, they might ask you to add three one digit numbers. They sometimes might ask you to add three multiples of ten. Don't panic. Top tip, start with the biggest multiple of ten. So fifty is the biggest number there. Then I would do 50 add 30, so 30 is 3 tens, so 50, 60, 70, 80. I would also write down how much 50 add 30 was so I didn't forget. And then we need to add the third number. So 18 add 80, sorry, add 20 is 80, 90, 100. Well done. Let's try this skill together. Now you can do this with Mrs G or you can pause the video and work out the answers and see if you got them right. It's up to you guys. So 40 add 20 add 10. 40 is the biggest multiple of 10. So I would do 40 add 20 first which is 40, 50, 60. I would add the last number 60 add 10 makes 70. Well done if you got that one by yourself. Now look at 20, add 60, add 20. Find the biggest multiple of 10. It's easier to count from the biggest number. So we've got 60. So I will do 60, add 20, 60, 70, 80 and add the other 20, 80, 90, 100. Well done guys. Let's try some more. 30, add 10, add 60. Step one, find the biggest multiple of 10. I will do 60 add 10 is 70. Don't forget to add 30. 70 add 30. 70 add 3, lots of 10. 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done, guys. What about 20 add 10 add 50? Biggest number on that sum is 50. Do 50 add 10 is 60. And then add the 20. 60, 70, 80. Excellent addition. Well done. Fantastic. Now, sometimes they give you a missing number and they're trying to trick you. Look at this sum carefully. 3 add something add 6 is 16. 16 is 10 and 6, isn't it? And I've already got 6 there. So now I only need to make the 10's number. We need to make 10. 3 add what makes 10, 10, 10? 3 add 7 makes 10, 10, 10. So the missing number here would be 10. Splitting things into tens and ones, they help you so much in maths, don't they? Let's practice together. So four add something, add eight is 18. We've already got the eight ones in the number 18, so we need to make the 10, because 18 is 10, add eight. Four add what makes 10, 10, 10? Four add six makes 10, 10, 10. Well done. Look at the next one. Five add something, add three is 13. Well, we know that 13 is 10 add 3. We've already got the 3. We need to make 10. 5 add what makes 10, 10, 10? 5 add 5. Well done, makes 10, 10, 10. What about 3 add something? Add 5 is 15. We've got the 5 in the number 15, which is 10 add 5. So we need to make 10. 3 add what makes 10, 10, 10? 3 add, that's it. 3 add 7 makes 10, 10, 10. Let's look at the last one. 2 add something add 9 is the same as 19. 19 is 10 add 9. We've got the 9 ones, so we need to make 10. 2 add what makes 10, 10, 10? 2 add 8 makes 10, 10, 10. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Now, the equal sign is a balance. We need the same number on both sides. Don't be thrown by missing numbers. So this is saying 20 add something is the same as 70. So we need to make 70 on this side too. So we've only got 20. We need to count in tens to see how many more we need. 20 in your head, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We need five more tens and five tens are 50. So 20 add 50 is the same as 70 and that sum will now balance. Are you ready to have a go at this one? 50 add something is 80. We need both sides of the equal sign to be the same. We need to have 80 on both sides. So at the moment on the red side, we've not got 80, we've got 50. Let's see how many more tens we need. 50, 60, 70, 80. We need three tens and we know that that is 30. 50 add 30 is the same as 80. Well done. Great balancing, guys. Let's try some together. 
60 add something is 90. We need 90 on both sides of the equal sign. 60 add how many more tens? 60, 70, 80, 90. Three tens, which is 30. 60 add 30 is 90. Pause the video and have a go at these before Mrs G tells you the answers. Good luck. What about this one? 30 add something is 50. So the red side, we need 50. We've only got 30. Let's count on in tens. 30, 40, 50. We need two more tens and two times 10 is 20. Well done. What about this one? 70 add something is the same as 1 100. So we've only got 70 on the red side. We need to count and add some more tens to get back to 100. 70, 80, 90, 100. We need three tens or 30. Well done. And we could have used our number bonds there. 7 add 3 makes 10, 10, 10. So 70 add 30 is 100. Well done. What about the last one? 40 add something equals 60. We need 60. We've only got 40 on the red side. How many more do we need? 40, 50, 60. Two more tens, which is 20. Well done, guys. Great job. Now, sometimes they try to trick you again. Something at 8 is 20. Your number bonds are really going to help you here. Okay, so... 8 always goes with what number to get to a multiple of 10? I would make 10 first. So 8 at 2 makes 10, 10, 10. But 20 is 10 more than 10. So 2 add 8 makes 10, 10, 10. And 12 add 8 makes tw tw 20. Well done. What about these? Something add 10 is 20. You might just know the answer to this one and that's great. But let me explain how I would do it in case it helps you learn the method. So we need to make 20. Okay. So 0 add 10 makes 10, 10, 10. So 10 add 10 makes tw tw 20. I'm using what I already know. Okay, last one. Something add 5 is 20. So I need 20. I've got to make my 1s make 10 first, then I can add another 10 to make 20. So 5 add 5 makes 10, 10, 10. So 15 add 5 makes tw tw 20. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Let's do some more. Something add 4 is 20. We need 20 on both sides. Well, 4 add 6, sorry, 6 add 4 makes 10, 10, 10. So 16 add 4 makes tw tw 20. Well done. Something add 9 is 20. We need to make 20 on both sides. We've only got 9 at the moment. So 1 add 9 makes 10, 10, 10. So 11 add 9 makes tw tw 20. Great number bomb practice. Well done. Now, 28 add something is the same as 35. Remember, the equal sign means the same. So we need the same number on both sides for the calculation to balance. So we need 35 on both sides. On the red side, we don't have 35 yet. We have 28. Let's just count on from 28 and get back to 35. 28 in your head, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 28 add 7 makes 35. Well done, guys. Let's try these. 39 add something is 44. Count on from 39. 39 in your head, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. We needed five more to get from 39 to 44. Well done. What about this one? 27 add something is 34. We need to count on from 27. Let's go. 27 in your head. 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34. 27 add 7 makes 34. Well done. What about this one? 18 add something makes 23. We need 23 on both sides. We've only got 18. Let's count on in ones. 18 in your head. 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. We needed five more to make that sum balance. Well done. What about 49 add something is 55? We need 55 on both sides. We've only got 49 on the red side. Let's keep counting in ones to make them balance. 49 in your head. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 49 add 6 is 55. Well done. Now we're going to have a little look into rounding and adjusting um, to do more complex additions, but there will be more training videos coming on this soon. Okay, so when we want to add bigger numbers, 
that are close to a multiple of 10, so like 9, 19, 29 or 39, it's much quicker to add multiples of 10 and take one away. We call this rounding and adjusting. And in class, we've learned how to add 9, and this is what we say. I am feeling fine. I am learning to add 9. This is the way it can be done. You add 10 and take away 1. It's quicker to add 10 in your head and then take one off. Okay, so 9 add 9. So I would do 9 add 10, which is 19, and take one away to get the answer 18. Should we try the next one together? So to do 14 add 9 quickly, do 14 add 10 is 24, and take one away. We get 23. Well done. 17 add 9. This is the way it can be done. We add 10 and take away 1. 17 add 10 is 27. Take away the extra one we added gives us 26. 35 add 9. It's quicker to add 10 and take away 1. 35 add 10 is 45. Take away 1 is 44. Well done, guys. 43 add 9. Let's add 10 and take away 1. It's much faster. 43 add 10 is 53. Take away 1 is 52. What about 52 add 9? This is the way it can be done. We add 10 and take away 1. 52 add 10 is 62. Take away 1 is 61. Much faster. Now, this is a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you two more from the arithmetic paper, and we'll come back to this in more detail next time. So, 52 add 29. We can round and adjust to add these quickly. The squared paper always means that you can show you're working out. Now, you could do 52 add 20, and then that answer add 9, but I feel like that would just take you ages. 29 is 1 away from 30. So, I would do 52 add 30 is 52, 6 62, 72, 82, but I was only supposed to add 29, so I need to now take one away. 82 take away 1 is 81. So I added 30 and then I took one away. I am feeling fine. I am learning to add 29. This is the way it can be done. You add 30 and take away 1. Okay, so 52 add 30 is faster. That's 82. They take the extra one away. 82 take away 1 would give us the answer 81. Okay, so let's just try this. So, um, we're going to try and add 19. So, 19 is one away from 20. It is much easier to do 34 add 20 quickly in our heads. So, 34 add 20 is 34, 44, 54. But we weren't supposed to add 20. We were supposed to add 19. So, we need to take one away. 54 take away 1 is 53. Okay, what about 52 at 29? 29 is only one away from 30. It's much easier to do. 52 at 30 is 52, 62, 72, 82. And take the extra one that we added off. 82 take away 1 is 81. This is a bit challenging. We will be doing lots more in class and there are more special agent videos on rounding and adjusting coming up soon. Leave me a like if you got most of these. Well done for having a go. Bye for now.